of the things that needs to change culturally is the, the framing of risk in organisations. No longer can we be completely risk averse and just think about risk as something that needs to be managed. Risk is something that's risky not to take. We, we need to take risk in order to get ahead of very fast competition that's coming from non-traditional places. So what can business do with data? The data is just data until we get insights from it or use it for some way to, to, to generate value. And so there's lots of ways you can do that. I look at Sydney Water Corporation where we've been working for many years doing predictive maintenance uh, for their pipe network. They have a lot of data. They have a hundred years of operational data. They know exactly how much water goes through. They know when pipes broke and why they broke. So you can actually get to a point where you can avoid pipe breakage, uh, which is very expensive. There's a lot of talk around jobs being lost in this digital disruption world. I think we need to go a step beyond this to look at the skills. So people need, people need to adapt to this change and they need to understand the skills that they have today and how those skills are going to be beneficial in the future. So it's not just about job loss, it's about job change and how you focus on skills at an individual level and at a company level to say these are the skills, these are the core competencies that we have and this is how they fit in the future world. So one of the issues that we face in this country at the moment is that the average age of the board director is about 60. The average age of the directors on the Facebook board is 48. We need more digital natives, we need more digital skills on Australian boards so that they can help to navigate their organisations through this this changing world. So there's a number of tools available to us to extract value from data and it can be as simple as visualisation, how do you just understand and, and see the patterns in, in data. Uh, one of the tools that we developed for the Australian Government is a thing called National Map, which is nationalmap.gov.au. 10,000 spatial data sets uh, from all tiers of Australian Government available to the public and to industry free of charge through a web browser. You can overlay taxation statistics with land use data, with socioeconomic data. All of this in the past was pretty dry data. Now it's information presented uh, with immediate insights. The next step is once you know what data you've got is, is you know, what are you trying to get from it. So from a predictive analytics perspective, what insights can you gain? And machine learning is a, is a great tool that is, if you have a training data set, uh, you can then start to understand where your business is going or where your market's going, where your costs are going. But then in a government context, we're doing a lot of work for, say, evacuation planning uh, for bushfires, modelling the way the bushfires are spreading and helping to prepare the communities and the emergency services to be able to respond better in those, in those critical incidents. Mm -hmm.